For 40,000 years, the Italian peninsula has served as a genetic crossroads where the threads of human history intertwined to create one of the most extraordinary tapestries of ancestry on Earth. Yet today, this irreplaceable genetic heritage faces an unprecedented threat that could fundamentally alter the Italian genome forever. The statistics paint a bleak picture. In 2024, Italy recorded its highest levels of both emigration and immigration in a decade, meaning there's a buttload of Italians leaving and an even larger amount of immigrants arriving on their shores. While over 150,000 Italians abandoned their homeland for opportunities abroad, over 380,000 foreigners settled on the peninsula. That's over double the amount of immigrants coming in than Italians leaving their country. This huge shift marks the beginning of a genetic transformation that will rewrite 40 millennia of evolutionary history within just a few generations. Before we get started, I want to say that this video is not meant to push any specific narrative, but to simply inform and educate about the massive demographic shifts we have been seeing in recent years for countries like Italy. If you enjoy this sort of content and want to stay up to date about modern applications of this genetic history, go ahead and subscribe to Ancestry Code. Now, back to the video. Recent genomic studies have revealed that Italians carry genetic signatures from at least eight distinct ancient populations, creating a biological manuscript of human migration more complex than any found elsewhere in Europe. This genetic diversity emerged through countless generations of adaptation, migration, and survival. When the last Ice Age gripped Europe 20,000 years ago, bands of hunter-gatherers took refuge in the Italian peninsula, their genes carrying forward the legacy of humanity's earliest European pioneers. As ice sheets retreated, these survivors blended with incoming Neolithic farmers who brought agriculture and domesticated animals from the Near East. Bronze Age migrations added further complexity, introducing Indo-European languages and metalworking technologies that would reshape civilization itself. But those Ice Age survivors and their descendants didn't just sit around in caves for the next 30,000 years. As millennia passed, their genetic legacy became the foundation for something unprecedented in human history. The rise of complex civilizations that would reshape the world. By the time we reach the Iron Age, DNA analysis shows us that Italy had already become a genetic melting pot with Etruscan, Latin, and various tribal populations creating the diverse genetic landscape that would make the peninsula perfect for what came next, the most ambitious empire-building project the world had ever seen. Roman expansion created the next major genetic chapter. As legions conquered territories from Britain to Mesopotamia, Rome itself became a cosmopolitan melting pot that drew people from across the known world. Ancient DNA from Roman-era cemeteries reveals that the imperial capital hosted individuals with ancestry from Greece, Anatolia, the Levant, and North Africa. This diversity spread throughout the peninsula as Roman citizenship expanded, creating genetic patterns that persist into the modern era. Eventually, the collapse of the Western Roman Empire in 476 CE triggered demographic upheavals that left lasting genetic imprints. Germanic tribes, particularly the Lombards, established kingdoms in northern Italy, contributing DNA signatures that remain detectable 15 centuries later. Byzantine control in the south maintained connections with Greek and Anatolian populations, while Arab rule in Sicily introduced some North African genetic elements that distinguish the island's population from mainland Italians. And note, while this North African genetic influence has been present in southern Italy for centuries, it is completely eclipsed by the mass demographic shifts we are seeing today. What's fascinating about the Italian genome is just how much geography in the peninsula has differentiated north and south. Northern Italians show evidence of selection at insulin-related genes, possibly reflecting adaptation to colder climates and different dietary pressures during medieval times. 
Southern Italians display genetic adaptations related to pathogen resistance and ultraviolet radiation protection, suggesting evolutionary responses to Mediterranean disease environments and intense solar exposure. The genetic distance between Northern and Southern Italians, while significant for a single nationality, is comparable to differences between Northern and Southern Germans, reflecting the peninsula's role as a genetic gradient between continental and Mediterranean Europe. This diversity has practical implications beyond academic interest. Italian populations show varying responses to medications, different disease susceptibilities, and distinct patterns of genetic disorders that reflect their complex ancestry. And we're not just talking about abstract genetic differences here. This stuff has real consequences in doctors' offices across Italy. Take something as simple as prescribing blood thinners. A standard dose of warfarin that works perfectly for someone from Milan might cause dangerous bleeding in a patient from Sicily because Southern Italians carry genetic variants that process the drug completely differently. Or consider this, Sardinia has one of the highest rates of multiple sclerosis in the entire world, about 150 cases per 100,000 people because of unique HLA genetic variants that are virtually non-existent anywhere else in Europe. And Northern Italians have evolved genetic protections against type 2 diabetes that you won't find in Southern populations. But modern immigration is poised to transform this ancient genetic landscape with unprecedented speed. The newcomers arriving in contemporary Italy represent fundamentally different ancestral populations. Ukrainians bring Eastern European Slavic ancestry. Bangladeshis and Pakistanis carry South Asian genetic signatures. Moroccans, Egyptians and Tunisians reintroduce North African lineages. These groups possess genetic backgrounds that diverged from European populations tens of thousands of years ago. Here's where the numbers become truly staggering, and frankly, a little scary. Every time an Italian has a child with one of these new immigrants, that baby carries only half the ancient Italian genetic code. When that child grows up and has kids of their own with another mixed heritage partner, their children carry just a quarter of the original Italian DNA signatures. It's like watching a unique recipe get watered down until you can barely taste the original ingredients. Keep the current trends going for just three or four generations. And boom, those genetic patterns that survived everything from the Ice Age to World War II become the minority in their own homeland. Now, before anyone gets the wrong idea, this isn't about judging people or their choices or to state that immigration is inherently good or bad. We are here to report facts, not tell if those facts are right or wrong. But it's pure biology. And when populations that have been separated for tens of thousands of years suddenly start mixing, you get genetic combinations that literally never existed before in human history. And while those ancient genetic shifts took centuries or even millennia to play out, giving people time to gradually adapt and blend, today's changes are happening at light speed. Italian women are averaging just 1.3 kids each, when they'd need about 2.1 just to keep the population stable. Meanwhile, young Italians are fleeing to other countries for better opportunities, while immigrants in their prime childbearing years are settling in. Regional variations in this process are already becoming apparent. Northern Italian cities with strong economies attract highly educated immigrants from various backgrounds, creating cosmopolitan genetic mixing. Southern Italian regions facing economic challenges and population decline are experiencing different patterns of demographic change. Sicily and Sardinia, with their unique genetic signatures, face particular threats from population replacement. Italian genetic diversity represents an irreplaceable record of human evolutionary history. Once ancient lineages are diluted below detectable thresholds, the information they contain about prehistoric migrations, ancient disease adaptations, and population dynamics will be lost forever. Unlike archaeological artifacts that can be preserved in museums, genetic heritage exists only in living populations. Some might argue that genetic change is natural and inevitable, that human populations have always mixed and evolved. This perspective misses the unprecedented nature of contemporary demographic transformation. 
Each Italian lineage represents an unbroken thread connecting contemporary people to ancestors who survived ice ages, plagues, invasions, and countless other challenges. Demographic projections suggest that within two decades, Italian genetic patterns will be substantially altered by continued immigration and population replacement. Children born today might represent the last generation to carry undiluted signatures of ancient Italian ancestry. Their genetic information will become increasingly valuable as evidence of human evolutionary history that can no longer be observed in living populations. The Italian peninsula stands at a demographic crossroads where ancient heritage meets modern reality. The same geographic position that made Italy a genetic crossroads throughout history now makes it vulnerable to unprecedented transformation. As the Mediterranean again becomes a highway for human migration, the genetic treasures accumulated over millennia face an uncertain future in a rapidly changing world. If you enjoyed our video on the genetic ancestry of Italians, you should go ahead and watch our other video on the unique DNA connections of modern Mexican people. Click here to watch.